So this is story time telling. I'm going to tell you a, one or two couple funny stories depending on how long they're going to be. This one is like medium long um, and oh my leg fell asleep. Okay, hold on. Let me wake my leg up because I hate having ah, ah, I'm like fall off. Okay, it's still asleep. Oh my gosh, I thought it was gone. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a super short story. It was a couple, uh, like a month or two ago, and I was laying in bed, and it was like, like in the middle of the night, it was like one or two, and I was like somehow still up. Don't know what I was doing, but I was still up. Um, and then all of a sudden I heard this beeping, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? Um, and then I, and I thought it was coming from the heater because the heater was on in that moment. I thought there was like something in it that was like making that sound, like a whistle. I don't know. So then I just covered up my heater and then it turned off and I was like, okay, it's gone now. And then it just kept on beeping. I was like, beep, woo, woo. Like it was like a vibration and a beeping at the same time. And I was like, okay, that was not normal. But I was so scared to go out in the hall because I was scared there was like, I don't know, I was just scared to go out in the hall because I heard vibration slash beeping noise. Um it was really loud um so then i walked um into my mom's bedroom like into their bedroom and i was like mom do you hear that beeping i don't like do you know what that is and then she came out and um it came from downstairs so i was even more scared because it came from downstairs and when you look down the stairs it's totally black <laughs> so my mom turned the lights on walked downstairs and i kind of followed her Make sure she's nothing's gonna happen and something. And um it was the dishwasher. Yeah, it was literally the dishwasher. The dishwasher was is broken, still is, and we're like trying to get a new one. Yeah. And it was broken, something and it was broken, and that's what was making that beeping slash vibrating noise. And so my mom just turned it off. And ever since then we had a vibrating slash beeping dishwasher. And we only have it on when um Everyone's upstairs, or everyone's downstairs, or like we're switched up between upstairs and all the way downstairs, or when no one's at home. So like my mom usually turns it on when I'm at school and my stepdad at work is at work. Yeah. So um yeah. So that's number one story. Let's move on to story number two. Okay, so this is also a really quick quick story. Um, it's um, it was like a couple weeks. After we moved here, when like a couple of our furniture was here, like our beds and our like, like big furniture, um, and um, um, I was home alone, um, like literally alone, alone because mom, my mom and my stepdad were going on a date, like they um went to eat and then they went like out to do something. I don't know what they were doing, but whatever. Um, and I was home alone and like around ten between 10 and 10 30 something the door rang and i was like oh my gosh literally who could this be such late at night and so i because my mom and they, like i mean that's right it's like they always tell me not to open the door unless i see who it is but i was still scared um because we have like a door and you can hardly recognize people through that door um so i went to the kitchen and i grabbed the biggest knife we had and I slowly walked to the door not to like give any footsteps away and I looked through the little glass part um, and it was my mom and my stepdad and I opened the door and they were like okay why the heck do you have a knife in your hand and I was like well I wasn't sure who it was and I was scared it was like some sort of murderer so I was gonna be prepared to fight back <laughs> So that's story number two. Let's move on to story number three. Okay, so this is in fifth grade in school. Um, so I was in school and I was in Read 180. I don't know, I haven't been in that thing forever. Um, so in Read 180, it's like where you get sort of help with reading and everything. And because it was my first year in American school, I needed that. Um, I needed like extra help. I had ESL and Read 180. Now I only have, then in 6th grade I only had ESL, and now I only have guided studies. So, getting better. <laughs> yeah, so, 5th grade. So it was like this big room, it was like a couple of uh, big tables with chairs, whiteboard, bunch of computers, and then there was like a little, um, like a little chill out, chill out 
area with two couches, two chairs, and then another couch. And right above that one couch that was in the corner was a window. And so one day, that window was wide open. And my teacher specifically said, be careful so you don't run into it or don't hurt yourself. Um, so then that day, of course, what I did, I ran into it. And the, the how I did it was um, my teacher was sitting at her desk and she said, um, she said something that was really interesting and I really wanted to see. And it was like, I don't know. I think it was my oh yeah, it was my te my favorite teacher's newborn baby. And of course I wanted to see a picture of it, so I like jumped up and started running and I totally ran against the edge of the window. I mean, I and the only thing I could do was sit back down and start laughing my butt off. And I think I even still have a scar somewhere up here, oh, right here. You see this little those little two scars? One of those two is the scars I got from running into the edge of the window. So, um, everyone was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And I had like a little bleeding scratch, but it wasn't like big or bad. And I was just sitting there laughing because I was so embarrassed of doing that in front of like 15 other people. Um, so yeah, I was pretty embarrassed. <laughs> Moving on to story number four. Um, which is probably going to be the last one. Okay, so, um, this last story, um, was two years ago, um, when we still lived in Germany, um, every two years we visited to Michigan, where my stepdad's family, whole family is, and our relative, relatives, um, and we visited there. And it was in the summer because that's when we always came to visit them and we visited them and we all went, not all of them, but like most of us went on a canoeing trip in, like with canoes. And um, so when we got there, like the guy that brought us there with all the canoes, he left and we got to the bottom because we had to go down a hill. We got to the bottom. And we saw that one of the canoes had a hole about this big. And we were like, um, like some of um, my uncle, my uncle, um, two of my uncles tried to run back up the stairs um, to get to the um, man to like get a new canoe. Um, so then my stepdad just took um, three gums, chewed them really good, and then like used it as glue. And I was like, uh, yeah, okay. Whoever's going to be on that boat is going to drown in that river. And it happened to be me and my stepdad to get that boat. Because I guess he was so confident that that piece of gum was going to hold. That he was just like, we'll take the boat. So we were the last ones to go away, I think. And we started going, I mean, the river wasn't, like, brown. It was, like, really, really clear. I mean, it was really nice. Um, it was really deep, but it was really nice. Um, so we were, like, on a canoe trip, and we stopped a couple of times to, like, eat and to take, like, little breaks, picture time, like, everything. Um, and then, um, I was, like, I want to go in the water. So I took, a, like, a, um, floaty thing, and I tied it to the canoe, and I sat on it, and... Like, my, like, your butt is, like, in the middle of this, like, the floaty ring thing. Um, so I was sitting there, and my feet were, like, also hanging in my arms. And I was, like, looking into the water, and I saw a giant fish about, like, this long and this wide. And I was like, oh, you gotta get me out of here. So I, so I, like, pulled myself. Then I, like, went into the canoe, and yet the whole canoe just tipped over. We had, um, he had his phone in there, we had, um, a backpack, no, we had, like, a backpack and another little bag in there, and I was just like, oh my gosh, now everything's in the water, we're all gonna drown, all those, like, stuff is gonna drown that just fell into the water, um, so, like, he, like, went together, first he, like, took me and put me to shore because I was freaking out. I mean, the roof wasn't really wide. It was like, like maybe 20 foot across. No, a little wider. It was like, I don't know how wide it was, but it was like an average river size. Um, 
we're like maybe three canoes across, um, something like that. And um, so I made sure. And then he started going swimming for all the things um, that I found out of the canoe. Then brought all the stuff there, put, put like the stuff on shore. Then got the boat, like emptied all the water out of it. Um, and then he was kind of mad at me. So I broke his phone. I got all the stuff soaked. Um, yeah, so that's another story <laughs> of me causing a little trouble. Um, I mean, look, I'm super scared of fish. You're probably like, uh, what the heck? You're scared of fish? Yes, I'm scared of fish. I'm scared of any fish bigger than this. I'm scared of any kind of fish bigger than this. The worst are sharks and those catfish with the freaking hair, mustache thingy coming from them. Like, they're just so scary. They can open their mouth so wide. And they don't have any teeth, but they can, like, bruise you really good. They can chomp on you. Like, I will not, mm-mm. And I wasn't sure if that was a catfish because it was, like, so deep down. And, I mean, even from, like, where I was sitting, at, the fish was huge. So I got out of the water, and, like, that's what happened. And then we, like, took another break. And, um, there's a kind of stream where we stopped by, like, a little rock thing. And there were like a bunch of crabs, and I didn't like that. Um, but my aunt and uncle, um, they tipped over on their boat too. Yeah. But they tipped over in the shallow water. We tipped over, like they tipped over in water maybe this high, maybe a little higher, like maybe two feet, two feet. We tipped over in water maybe ten feet deep. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to see more of my story time things, or what theme of story time you want to have, like, creepy, funny, um, exciting, um, weird kind of thing, then just put it in the comments below, and also subscribe. That's a thumbs up. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So, bye-bye.